assigned to the 327th Squadron 92nd Bomb Group. B-17F Snake Hips must be a contender for the most damaged B-17 ever to return to its base in England. On August 24, 1944, with almost 60 missions behind, Snake Hips left Pottington to hit the target at Merseburg. The formation approached the bomb run when they were bracketed by flak barrages. The bomb doors had just opened when a burst entered the bay and detonated. None of the 10 500 pounds bombs exploded, but three of the bombs had been blown through the side of the B-17. Two rolled down the right wing before falling off. Five bombs were knocked from their shackles and came to rest on top of two unreleased bombs. The radio room and right wing trailing spar were destroyed and the ball turret gunner killed by thumbnail-sized shrapnel that entered his turret. Below the formation, Snake Hips was nearly destroyed by bombs from the formation above. The pilot and co-pilot watched in disbelief as a bomb just missed their nose. A second fell between the left trailing wing and the horizontal stabilizer, and a third fell just behind that. The supercharger controls were damaged, and the B-17 descended through 14,000 feet, where the engines found the air sufficient and roared to full power. Asymmetrical power settings achieved a seesaw course for home. Because of severed flight control cables, turns were hard if not impossible. As they made the English coast a second engine reached fuel exhaustion, but an airfield was spotted. It was Woodbridge, a field built just for shot-up airplanes. With an 8,000-foot runway it was perfect. The pilot instructed the crew to jump in their parachutes. Snake Hips became a ruler to measure what a B-17 should be able to endure. She never flew again and was salvaged on August 25, 1944.